Alright YouTubers, uh, I'm working on my trusty old 2002 Camaro here, LS1 V8. Uh, you can see there, I think you can see, got an exhaust manifold off on the driver's side. I had to take that off because I had a catalytic converter on that side I needed to replace. I've had the, uh, I think it's the PO140 code for years on this car. Finally decided to replace the cat to uh, fix that. And I figured I'd make a video and show you some tips on uh, how to get this off if you have the same problem I did. You know, the cat itself is really straightforward. You got the two bolts here that uh, hold it onto the white pipe, and then there's three bolts that hold it onto the manifold. If your car, if your parts are not 17 years old like they are on my car, these are all original components, you can probably get all this stuff off without it breaking, without it being a big deal. I know when I first bought the car, I had these two bolts off because I put on the uh, the oversized Y pipe like way back in the day. It was no problem, but as soon as I put the impact on this one, it snapped right off. I mean, you can see these bolts are they've been around. This one I had to cut off with a uh, a cutoff wheel because the nut just rounded off. They're 15 millimeter nuts. Same up here, 15 millimeter. Uh, these two came right off. This stud twisted off. Because of that, uh, i got to take the manifold off. I'm going to put it in the vise. I'm going to heat these up, uh, spin them out, and put new ones in. And that's pretty much the story of that. Casey. Now, <laughs> Yes, babe, hold on. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I got the manifold out oh. because it is not exactly easy. After I play with my daughter a little bit. All right, so back up top, you know, the, like I said, underneath is straightforward. Uh, it's really the five bolts, and then once you get those loose, you've got enough wiggle room in the exhaust where you can, you can move the white pipe back, and then the cat will just come out. Okay, so if you don't break anything, you just take the gasket off the, that, that triangle gasket, take the old one off the, uh, the manifold, and then you uh, put the new one on there, put your new cat in place, run the nuts down, and you're, you're done. But if you're like me and unlucky, now you get to take the manifold off. So uh, you, you probably saw over there the oxygen sensors. You're going to have to unhook those. Uh, I didn't even take the one out of the old cat. I just left it in there. No problem. The, uh, the one that is in the manifold, you're, you're definitely going to want to take out. And it's a, uh, just use a 7 8 open end wrench on it. And it'll spin right out, even on this car, which is originally, it, it didn't take much to get it out. Um, then there are six bolts that hold the manifold on. Uh, I think they are 10 millimeter head bolts. I'll show you. This is what they look like right here. Okay, mine were in good shape. None of them broke off. And I, I understand that on uh, some of the LS motors, especially the like the five threes and six O's, for some reason, they tend to twist off a lot. Thank God it didn't happen to me because I don't want to deal with that. Uh, it'd be different, like on if you had a truck or something where you could take off your under fender wells, but on on this unibody, that's part of the car. So anyway, go slow with them. I went very slow. There's six. Take them out. Um, as soon as I got that out, then I could begin to see I was having a problem with which way do you go. I wasn't sure if I was going to take the manifold up through here or if you could get it down through that hole. Uh, I dorked around and dorked around. I ended up, um, you can see down there, I unhooked the steering shaft and I, I was trying to get it apart to get the shaft out of the way. Um, I didn't need to get it completely apart. I got enough uh, wiggle room in it here to where I could get I'm just telling you this, this is the wrong way. Don't come up through the top. I ended up getting that, that big triangle uh, flange up through the top, and then it got wedged in here between this fender well and the rest of the head. You know, I, I took the, the um, oh shucks, the coal pack rail loose. It didn't matter. You just don't have enough room here. So the, the, the way to get it out is to get it angled and get it down through that hole, the studs that are on that flange, on that triangle flange, are going to fight you down here around the engine mount. There's a, a, a heat shield that goes over that braided clutch line. You're going to take that heat shield off. Two 7mm screws hold that in. Get that out of the way and then just work it out gently down there 
that away. That's the way to do it. I'm not saying you might not have to take this loose anyway to get a little extra room. I don't know. I already had it loose. I, I don't know. But that's the way I did it. Uh, so now, uh, I think I'll throw this on this video. I'm going to put my manifold in the vise, heat up those studs, and take them out, put the new ones in. Okay, so the idea here is to get the area around the stud glowing red hot. Don't heat the stud itself so much as the area around it. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pipe wrench on what's left of the stud. Tap it with a hammer. And then we'll see if we can get it to come out. I may not be able to show that, but it said red hot. If it ain't red hot, there's no point. Because what you don't want to do is break that stud off flush in the manifold, then you're screwed. All right. So now, I don't know if you can see it. I tapped on it and it is slowly turning its way out. It goes slow. When it stops turning, heat it up again. Don't risk breaking it. Okay, so with that method, then I finally got uh, all three of those studs out. No problems, didn't break anything off. I've got it, uh, try to get some better light on it here. I've got it cleaned up now. Uh, I use my, my trusty grinder just to grind some of that old gasket material off. And now um, I'm gonna put some new studs in it. Here are the new ones. So the ones I've got are the Doorman variety from Rock Auto 03133 uh, and these you know just being generic studs they don't have like that little uh, Allen head on them out here so you can twist them in with a uh, with like a socket or something so I just doubled up the nuts on this side and that's what I'm going to use to get those to go in and uh, now round two is I'm going to apply more heat around this area here, get it hot, and then get this to sink all the way down into here. And uh, that's pretty much going to be this part. Okay, so I'm mostly back together now. You know, if you wind up doing this, once you get the studs in, uh, again, the manifold's got to cool down. And you're going to bring it in uh, from the bottom up through that hole right there. It was actually much easier to get in than it was to get out. I don't know why. So you, you know, you've got the, you can kind of see that shiny piece right there. That's the gasket. And then you've got your six mounting bolts. Uh, right here's one of them that uh, go in. I think the torque on them is 15 foot pounds, not very much. Start at your inners and then work your way to your outside. You can get all, all of these bolts from the top, except for the one right back here that is best accessed from the bottom and I'll try to take a video real quick and show you uh, so then uh, you know once you've got this back on up here it's a matter of just you're gonna have to put your uh, put your air tube back here on the other side when I took that off uh, doing other work there was a gasket between that air tube and the manifold this side didn't have one so I'm gonna put it back together just to get it running but I'll probably buy one they're like I don't know 79 cents on Rock Auto or something um, and that's pretty much it. Top side. Let's see what's going on on the bottom. Right, I'll try to keep you oriented as we're coming in. So I'm under the passenger side door right now. Uh, here you can see, got the new cat in place. Uh, I've got it hooked up to the white pipe. This is snug down. Bear with me. Uh, there's my new oxygen sensor. Got it in. Got it hooked up up here. You can even see that um, here. We have the uh, top mounting of the cat. Got those all snugged down, got a lot of antices on them. There's the other O2 sensor up there. Uh, and then if I can get it. Okay. So there is a bolt right there in the middle of your screen. Maybe fuzzy, I don't know. That's the very last 
bolt of the uh, exhaust manifold and it is much easier to get to from down here when you've got the cat out of the way so that's definitely the way to do that um, and I think that's about it for down here um, uh, you got your other connection connection for the uh, O2 sensor up here and now I've I got all this buttoned up I'm gonna take it off the jack stands I'll put everything together up top see how it runs okay it's all back together and running good just took it for a test drive. I don't know if you can see the very light wisps of smoke coming off the exhaust manifold where I had the uh, antiseize on the bolts and the new uh, you know, oil from my hands and stuff on the manifold. There was a sticker on the catalytic converter I didn't take off. Uh, so be prepared for odd smells if you do this. Uh, they'll burn off fairly shortly. So anyway, hope this video helps you and uh, let me know if you have questions.